Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's 9.30, and the snow is finally winding down. Although, I've had some phone calls this morning from Ashtabula, and people are like, it's not stopping, Sam. It's still snowing. I oh, know. Look at that. It's winding down, though. You can tell on the loop here that over the last three hours, it's gotten lighter. And then this is kind of tapering back to flurries, Geauga County, uh, Northern Portage. So looks like we got a little snow out here in Summit County and some light snow on the southeast side of Cleveland. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm trying to flip the camera, I am ready for summer five days until spring, but uh, definitely does not feel like it. It feels like five days away from February, right? It feels like the dead of winter. We've had wind chills this morning below zero. Uh, we get up to about 26 today. It probably won't feel like 26. Probably gonna feel like it's about five or 10 degrees all day. Uh, good morning, I can finally see some of your comments. Sometimes they don't pop up. Donald, good morning, Kevin. Good morning to you as well. Who else is out there with me this morning on this uh, frigid start to your Wednesday? Andrew, good morning from Montgomery. Good morning. You guys have a really nice mall in Montgomery. I want to say it's like outdoors or something, but I remember going there once and it was really nice, like several years ago. You guys got to see this. Look how cold it is. Now this is not the actual temperature. This is just how cold it feels with the wind factored in. Uh, it feels like five degrees in Cleveland. It feels like minus two in Wayne County. <sighs> what are we gonna do? It's March. The good news is it's gonna start to warm up. So tomorrow we're gonna be in the mid thirties with no snow. And then on Friday, I'm trying to find my seven day forecast. We're actually gonna get into the 40s, which that will be nice. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Jeffrey. Let's see. I got 44 Friday, got a little rain in the forecast. Uh, I don't know if you guys are coming out to the parade or not. We're actually gonna be out um, at the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Friday. And it looks like uh, it's going to be pretty chilly. It's probably going to be in the 30s during the parade. And then eventually, late in the evening, we'll get into the 40s. With a little rain possible, probably we'll hold off until, at least right now, it looks like after the parade. So that would be good. That way we can get out and enjoy the St. Patrick's Day festivities. Anybody doing anything fun for St. Patrick's Day? I'm just going to try to stay warm. Because I know last year when we did the parade, it was absolutely freezing. I think it was like in the 40s or 50s, but it was so windy that it just felt like so brutal. So it's going to feel similar to that this year, but probably colder. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Kevin. Joe, I see more people are starting to tune in. It looks like we have 20 people uh, watching our Facebook Live. You know, guys, I wish I had better weather news for you, but I just don't. Wintry mix on Saturday Decreasing clouds on Sunday, mostly cloudy on Monday with a chance of rain, mostly cloudy on Tuesday with a chance of rain. Hey, at least we get a little sun on uh, Sunday and we'll get a little sun on Thursday as well. Maybe some flurries tomorrow. I see more people joining. Clayton, Todd, good morning. Clayton says green beer. Yeah, a lot of people drink that on St. Patrick's Day. I don't know how I feel about drinking anything green. Even like a smoothie with like spinach. I don't know. I just can't do it. I can't do the green beer or really anything green. I did do this. Our producer, Carrie, but she does our seven o'clock show. She has little girls and they're in the Girl Scouts. So uh, me being the sucker that I am ordered three boxes of Girl Scout cookies. We have Thin Mints. These are brand new, and if you haven't had these yet, they're amazing. S'mores. These are like, uh, you know, Samoas are good, or I think they're called Caramel Delights now or something. They're good, but these are like heaven. They have like, I don't even like marshmallows really, and they, they have like a hint of like marshmallow with graham cracker and just chocolate. I mean, just, it's amazing. And then I got my fave, my all-time fave, Savannah Smiles. They're so good. And for some reason, even though the serving size, oh, the serving size is five cookies. The serving size for these, 
the s'mores are only two. Jason says, thin mints don't make you thin. I know, but they're really good uh, if you put them in the freezer. So that's what I'll do with these. I'll stick them in the freezer, and when I eat something salty or I eat lunch or dinner, and then I have a little craving for um, something sweet, I'll just eat like three frozen thin mints. It looks like the serving size is four cookies, so we can have four frozen thin mints. Let's see who else is joining us. Frank, good morning. Michael, good morning. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh-oh, my phone is flashing at me. That's because I have 5% battery left, so I better put my phone on the charger, and I will see you guys later. We'll charge this thing so it doesn't die. I'm gonna do some things on the weather app and eat my lunch, and I will see you guys noon. Stay warm, and let's look forward to a little sunshine tomorrow. And if you both got cookies, you can eat as many as you want. Have a great day.